Hey guys, welcome to the 159th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue working on our hangman project. And basically, what we're going to be doing is generating a random word that will be used in our game. So we're just going to go over to the code right here and create um, a new method that will return a random word. Since it's going to be returning a word, we're just going to make the return type string. So string, and I'm just going to name this method get random word. And since we don't need the user to pass through any parameters, we can just leave this in blank. Alright, now there are many different ways of going about getting a random word, but what we're going to be doing is downloading a web page that has basically a big list of words on it. And then we're going to convert that into a string array using the split method. And finally, we're going to use the random class to generate a random index of that array. So we'll basically be getting a random word from that array. Alright, so first we're going to have to actually find that big list of words. So we're just going to go on Google right here and type in handy word list. And just click the first link right here. And basically there are this is like different categories of words. Just pick one that has it's relatively big. Don't pick something like this, like 27,000, because that's going to take a while to actually download the web page. So I'd say around 1,000 is a good size. So I'm just going to choose this adjectives extra right here. Alright, so here we have this big list of words. And we're just going to be using a web client to download all of these words, or this huge string right here. So we're going to have to go back into C Sharp and say using system.net so that we have access to that web client class. So system.net. Alright, and then we can say web client. I'll just call it WC and set it equal to a new web client. And then we're going to create a new string called word list and set it equal to that web page downloaded. And we're just going to download the string and we're just going to need the address or the URL of um, that web page. And I'm just going to paste right in there since I already copied it. And basically, this string word list now is equal to all of these words. And since we want to make it into a string array, we're going to have to use the split method. So we're going to say string array words equals word list dot split. And the character that we're going to be splitting at is a new line. And to represent a new line, you're just going to want to do a backslash and then an N. And that represents a line. And the reason that you can have two characters in here is because this is considered one character since it's just a new line or it represents a new line. So I'm just going to finish that off with another uh, single quote right there. And now inside of this uh, string array words will be an element for each one of these words. So the first one will be appreciable, then appropriate, artificial, and so on. All right. And then we're just going to want to create a new instance of the random class to generate a random index for our words um, array. So we're going to say random. I'll just call it ran and say equal to a new random. And then we're going to say return words, oops, words. And then the index that we want to return is going to be random. So we're going to use our random class right here. And then we're just going to say random dot next. And then the minimal or the minimum that it will generate will be a zero. And the maximum that it can do is the words dot length minus one because the words length will return like if there were let's say five in the entire um, array it would return five but the maximum index would be four since it starts at zero so that's why we have to do the negative one right here all right now let's just call this method when well, I guess on this draw hang post method since this is called um, when the form is shown so we're just going to call it in here and we're just going to say get random word and we're just going to display this random word in a message box. So we're just going to say message box show this random word right here, just to make sure that it actually did get a random word. So now when we debug, we see it got weaker. If we were to debug again, it should get something different. True. Yep. So there we go. It just generates random words. And the next tutorial, we're going to get into actually um, drawing like the underscores inside of this group box right here. So, see you guys.